Captain's log, stardate 4121.7. We are en route to Akumal 7, an obscure planet on the border of the Klingon neutral zone. Starfleet Command has directed us to investigate strange signals which have been received from the planet. Although this is a dangerous mission, I am confident in the capabilities of my new crew who are seasoned professionals. Intently serious about their mission. The best assembled crew in the entire Starfleet Command. I am proud to serve with them. Mr. Spock has picked up an unusual energy force emanating from the planet. A pattern I've never seen before. All attempts to contact the planet have been unsuccessful. Please acknowledge signal. What do you make of it, Spock? There are two possibilities. They're unable to respond. They're unwilling to respond. Picking up the Klingon vessel. Hang on! Exactly where to hit us. Well, we're up, patch me in. I sir. This is Admiral James T. Kirk of the Federation Starship Enterprise. What is the meaning of this attack? Look at me! Let me blow ya! Supplemental. In the midst of an attack by a Klingon vessel, a strange energy force has rendered both the Enterprise and the Klingon ship helpless. We have located the source of the energy field on the planet's surface, so I have dispatched a landing party to beam down to the planet and investigate. Everything's quiet here, sir. No sign of life anywhere. No! Execute us immediately. No! After fending off an ambush, the Enterprise landing party was able to save the Klingons from being crushed by a mysterious tentacled being. It is becoming increasingly clear to me that some unseen life form is pitting the Klingons against us. Do 
Deus, pinguim! Nogani, limblodja! I'm getting a voice message. Klingons and Federation members, we are the preceptors, the teachers. All you have experienced here has been illusion, a test to see if you are capable of peaceful coexistence. While your cultures are primitive, we believe there is great hope for you, for you are not as different from each other as you may believe. Learn our lesson well, for if you fail to become allies, the other path will bring your ruin. Farewell. <laughs> Spock, it appears we still have much to learn. That much is certain. Mr. Scott. Aye, sir. We'll be going to warp speed. How'd they do? I'm not a drama critic. How'd they do, folks? <laughs>